and uh, we have to approve our minutes and the meeting should be short because we have three uh, restoration grant um, extensions and one reimbursement. So to begin with, have you read the minutes and uh, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of September 9th, 2020? Um, I, I have a comment. Um, I thought it should probably make it clear that I have this stain on the vote. It said unanimous, but I didn't see that I wasn't voting. Unless I wasn't reading that carefully. No, thank you, Peter. I meant to do that and then didn't. So thank you. I'll make a note. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm with the motion we approve it with that change. Okay. All right. Do I hear a motion uh, to approve the minutes with the change that Perky mentioned? I make a move, motion that we approve the uh, mi minutes as uh, Perky uh, mentioned uh, making the change. As oh. Perky mentioned making the change. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Second. Thank you. All in favor, state aye, please. Aye. 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 Thank you. It's approved. Okay. The first extension we have on today's meeting is 417 North Lanana, HRG number 2020-012. And it's for an extension. And I do understand that the pandemic has created problems for everyone. Uh, yes, Chairman, you can see on the, the picture, um, hopefully I can see it, hopefully the rest of you can see the, the PowerPoint um, that, that Hannah's presented. Um, these next three cases are all exactly the same. Uh, Ms. Colston for 417 North Romana uh, originally received 10% of the final project cost not to exceed $400. She has requested an extension. Her current grant expires on October the 9th. Um, if approved for the 12 month extension, it would then be due on October 1st of 2021. Okay. All right. Do we have any discussions on that or do we have any problems with that? I, I think that we approve mm -hmm. HRG 2020-0112 as submitted to now expire October 1st, 2021. Thank second. You. That. Thank you. We have a motion and we have a second. All in favor of the extension, state aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay, opposed? All right. Yeah, these are, I guess, to be expected. Uh, the next one is an extension of the historic restoration grant for property located at 330 East Main. This is HRG number 2020-005. Uh, yes, Chairman, for 330 East Main Street, um, the applicant received 16.8% of the final project cost not to exceed $30,150. Mm -hmm. um, if the 11th month, 11 month extension is approved, their grant would be expiring on August 28, 2021. Okay. Do I and hear a second? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I muted myself for a second. I had to sneeze. I figured you didn't want to enjoy that. Oh. Um, <laughs> One of the things that, that staff doesn't know is what progress was made on any of these projects. Um, you know, that's not something that we have traditionally asked, mm -hmm. um, but going forward, we think that that will be something that's included in your packet um, for consideration is the amount of progress that had been made since the original um, grant. So in case someone like Dr. Meisel or, or Patterson or any of the others wanted to ask, we don't know. Okay. Okay. And it's all right for us to make a decision on that, correct? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. I just was I just wanted I just wanted that to be out there so that y'all understood. You know, we, okay. we have the request, we have the written request from the applicant, but we don't know what status or excuse me, the, the status of the project, whether they were ninety percent complete or zero percent complete. Right. 
Okay. Considering the second extension, this is the HRG 2020-005. Is there any discussion necessary after what Mr. Bray said? Well, I would just like to note that in this and the next application for the extensions, they are talking about the real difficulties of getting people to actually come out and do work during COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, to note that for everybody's um attention yes and absolutely yeah. this is almost to be expected okay do i hear uh, a motion for the extension of this particular grant i'll make a motion to approve the extension of hrg number 2020-005 okay do i hear a second i second thank you all in favor, aye. state aye, please. Aye. 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 Opposed? I, I voted aye also. Uh, the next extension we have is for property located at 113 South Lanana. This is HRG 2020-009. Uh, yes, Chairman, just uh, for clarification, the applicant is the same on this case and the following case. Um, and something that I wanted to make sure that we put for the record is that you are allowed to have a single grant on a single address that happens to be that this applicant owns more than one property. And so that is why we have there's feedback on someone's info. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can, can y'all mute your microphone? Oh. Can, I don't can, know. I think, I'm on a I'm not sure I can mute mine. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe everyone else fixed it. So um, so that's why we have the same applicant. It's two separate properties. I want to make sure you all understood that this was not the same property and that we weren't violating those rules. So the applicant, Thomas Tracy, received 12% of his final project cost not to exceed $961.20. The 12-month extension would take him to September 30th of 2021. Um, Chairman? Okay. All right. Do I hear a motion for that extension? Yeah, I move to uh, grant the extension for HRG 2020-009. Uh, Thank you. I'll second that. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, oh. state aye, please. Aye. Bye -bye. Opposed? All righty. Thank you very much. I, <laughs> my microphone was being difficult. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> oh, now the last thing on our agenda is to consider the historic restoration grant reimbursement for property located at 418 North Mound, 2020-010. Uh, yes, Chairman, you have seen this property, I think, uh, three years in a row. Um, I think so. applicant of Thomas Tracy. Um, thank you, Hannah, for putting that, that screen up there. So that's the property formerly known as the Inn at 418 Mound. Um, it's been a bed and breakfast for many, many years. And once Mr. Tracy purchased it, um, completely uh, renovated the interior um, and did an excellent job of restoring the outside, even though we didn't have any historic photos of the building. Um, the applicant was funded at 13% of the project cost not to exceed $3,116.04. Um, percentage after uh, the project was complete comes to $3,116.04. His project came in just over what his estimated cost was, so I think kudos to that because anytime you do undertake a large project, if you're within a couple thousands of your estimate, then I think you you nailed it. So, Chairman, uh, <laughs> staff does recommend approval to release the funds. Thank you. Yes, that's a beautiful property. Uh, do mm -hmm. I hear a motion? For the reimbursement of uh, property located at 418 North Mound? Um, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve HRG 2010, 2020-010 uh, uh, to release the funds of $3,116.04 as awarded. Thank you, Perky. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor state aye, please. Aye. 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 
Wonderful. Uh, opposed? Okay. All right. We are so efficient. All we have to do now is adjourn. Thank you all for attending. And as at um, our following meeting is your next big meeting, and that is the HRGs. And if Hannah covered that previously, I apologize for repeating, um, but please attend, please. And it will be in person at the rec center. Well, you'll let us know all that, right? Yes, ma'am. We will send you the notifications. Okay. Thank you all so right. much. Thank Bye, y'all. Thank, Good thank everybody. you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank Bye. you.